Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back to another video and in this video I'll show you how to make this powerful Bluetooth speaker. This speaker is very loud and clear and it also has a good bass. It also has uh, sound reactive LEDs on the front of this speaker. It has a power backup of more than 6 hours and the body of this speaker is completely made with 3D printer. So watch this video till the end and I'll show you how to make this beautiful powerful Bluetooth speaker. So for this project you will need a Bluetooth amplifier board. So I'm using this CT14 uh, Bluetooth amplifier board which is a 5 plus 5 watt stereo mode board. Next you will need is an on off switch. This is a micro USB connector. You will also need a charging module for your lithium ion battery. This is 3 watts 4 ohm speaker. You will also need a base radiator or you can use a base radiator from old speaker. We will also be using colorful LEDs for our sound reactive lights. You will also need few resistors. This is 330 ohms resistor. This is 1 and 4007 diode. 100 UF capacitor. And 0 PCB boards. 18650 batteries. Few connectors. And I am using this adhesive to stick our components. This video is sponsored by Ultium Designer. Ultium Designer, the world's most trusted PCB design system, offers engineers a unified environment that provides a comprehensive view of the entire PCB design process. This includes schematic, PCB layout, harness design and documentation, empowering engineers to access all the necessary tools in one place. Ultium 365 is transforming the electronic product design industry with its practical benefits and essential capabilities. With Ultium 365, you can effortlessly design, share and manufacture electronics with Ultium Designer without the need of any extra installations or configurations. Octopart is a free search engine for electronic parts and components. It offers listed inventory that showcases inventory levels and pricing information to a global audience of engineers, procurement professionals and designers seeking components for their projects. Octopart is relied on by 16 million users globally. It gives users the ability to compare bulk pricing and also the stock information. It provides the documentation of the parts including the data sheets and CAD models. You can try out all these services and I've shared a free trial link in the description down below so do check it out. So first I've designed this body of our speaker on Tinkercad. I'll share all these 3D files to you so you can also 3D print uh, this whole model. So this is the schematic of our sound reactive lights so you need to follow this and do the required connections as per the circuit diagram. This is the main circuit diagram for the connections of all the components of this project. So follow this step by step with me and complete all your connections. First I've connected the sound reactive lights with one of the speaker. These are the 3D printed battery spacer, so we'll make one small battery pack for our speaker. I've connected both positive terminals together and both negative terminals together. So first we'll assemble all our components. So I've connected the speaker, then the sound reactive light and the other speaker. So I've stick this uh, sound reactive lights with the adhesive. You can even use the hot glue gum. So now we'll stick the speaker. So 
so here we take the two compounds of our adhesive and properly mix it so after mixing it we'll properly apply on the edge of our speaker hole so this adhesive dries up in five minutes so we need to be really quick next I've connected is this on off switch so it will go in the first hole and on the second hole I've connected this micro USB connector for the charging purpose and at last I'm connecting this base radiator so now we'll place our battery pack and fix out all the positions of our circuit boards and the charging modules. So after finalizing all the positions, we'll start soldering the components as per the circuit diagram I've shared before. So after completing all the connections, we'll assemble all the components inside the body. So here I've done with the connections, even I've connected a few tape to avoid short circuits and even added foam for the support. After finalizing everything, you can close the back lid and tighten the four screws at the back. And now the speaker is completely ready for the amazing sound. So first we'll fully charge the speaker. So I've connected this micro USB cable and uh, you can see uh, the red light is turned on. And after the full charge, it turns into the blue light. Now we'll turn on the speaker and pair it with the Bluetooth of the phone. So after scanning, you can see I've got the device HCW music and it is paired successfully. So now we can play the music. So friends, if you like this video, then do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.